Oh yeah, good evening everyone. Uh, I'm gonna go straight for the kill here because it's one o'clock in the morning and I'm feeling pretty tired. Basically, if you're a Linux user and you've been looking for a webcam that does um, HD, like 1080p, as well as um, 720p at 60 frames per second, then I am going to recommend straight away the new Logitech uh, 922. I bought this on a bit of a whim, a bit of a gamble the other night when I was looking for a webcam now that I've got my live streaming capable uh, broadband and honestly for the price which was 120 Australian dollars I didn't expect it, a huge amount I mean yeah, I mean, it's pretty good for a webcam but nonetheless it is Linux and I was expecting issues I had to tell you, I just plugged this thing in and it worked straight away. It works with Open Broadcaster as well. Um, the only trick that I found is that you have to switch it off from 422 color space down to YV12. Uh, as it is, H.264 doesn't accept anything else other than YV12. So you're all good. When you're in YV12 on Linux, it does uh, 60 frames per second, as they say, at 720p, and 30 frames per second at 1080. The other thing is, the autofocus is fantastic on this. Uh, well, actually, just the focusing distance is fantastic. Uh, you're not going to see it from this camera, but I am capturing the screen as well, so we'll cut away to that. I've got a MacBook Pro board here. And I can bring this up in spite of the lighting issues. You watch this, is this in, there, there we go. And I can get within about an inch, maybe even 20 millimeters. And this thing will give me a focus. It's a very um, central sort of focus. It's got a bit, fair bit of barreling at this sort of distance. Which isn't bad, considering it's not meant for this sort of close-up work. So, yeah, if you're after, it also needs a lot of light. This is in the shadow of the um, webcam itself. Nonetheless, I was quite impressed with that. I wasn't expecting it. And the other effects there. The other thing is, in Linux, if you use the um, video for Linux UCP or user control panel, you can adjust like uh, over here. You can adjust all the parameters that you need. You can switch over to manual focus. I'll shrink this down a bit. There we go. Uh, manual, uh, and you can change it in and out as you need. So it's got everything you need. It works well with Open Broadcaster. I did not have to do a single thing for setting this up. I just plugged it in, it worked. And this is on USB 2, by the way. So you don't need USB 3. Uh, like I said, the only limitation is, of course, if you want the high frame rate, you are going to have to go to YV 12. Uh, and again, like I said, it doesn't matter anyway, because H.264 doesn't accept anything else but that. But if you're recording for yourself, then sure you can use the 422 but again you're not going to have the performance of the frame rates there. I found if you drop down to 800 by 433 you can get 30 frames per second in the full colour space but yeah that's, that's a bit of a compromise. So I'm going to leave it at that and yeah so if you're a Linux user it's well worth 120 Australian bucks so it's probably going to be like 99 US. It also comes with a tripod I should say this is it here it comes with a tripod, standard quarter inch um, mount, and I'm just buggerizing this up right now. Uh, I can hook off the edge of most screens, it's all like that. You can see the rest of my room, which is just not great. You can see all the cobwebs. The tripod legs extend out, usual sort of fanfare. And my crappy fan, oh my, fa oh my goodness. It's just pointing at the screen. It's a disaster. Let's go back down to that. No, my god. Alright. Let's put it back on like this. <laughs> I have found there are some zones where it doesn't seem to like to focus. I don't know why that is. But yeah, maybe it's an algorithm thing. But I can put my hand right up there. Right up. 
Come on, you can do it. See how bad my cuticles are. So it is impressive. Well worth the money. Go out and get one and get broadcasting. Thank you. I'll see you later. Ah, I forgot to demonstrate in the video when I got to the end of editing it a demonstration of the audio quality. So here it is. Audio quality is pretty good. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.